when you go into the field, look for plants which have got the flowers just about to open. And you need to have flowers in different stages of maturity. For example, you can see here, this one is almost immature. And this one has got some flowers which are just to open. And some are immature. That's a very suitable uh, section to sample. Say, for example, so that's the length of the sample you need to take. And once you take your sample, don't remove any of the parts after you collect it. It should be 100% intact. And uh, so even if the leaves are eaten by some insects or disease affected, don't remove any of them. And uh, when you collect them, make sure that this section has got some immature flowers, some uh, buds, some uh, mature flowers, and if possible, also collect some fruits. Many a times you can't collect the fruits from native plants, but at least you must have the several flowers at different stages of maturity. So once you collect them, you need to put a label. The label is your initials, two initials, for example, my initials, NA, and I give the sequential number. The first sample I, I ever collect, I call that as NA1, and keep on increasing the number. And uh, some botanists have numbers up to 50,000. They've been collecting plants since they were uh, sort of 15. And uh, so the numbers are unique. So your sample, this one is NA1, for, for example. And this is the unique number you've already given the name. So no one recognizes that name. At least this particular plant has got a name now. Now your task is to go and find out the real name, real botanical name of this particular plant. So that's the, the technique we're going to learn. So the next thing is you need to write down some details about this plant. And uh, the details are described here. And you will learn those details when you come for the residential school. Um, but for the time being, I'm just giving, asking you to write down whatever the details you want in a notebook separately. So here, I've got the notebook. My first sample is NA1. And then I'll write down, it is a medium-sized tree. It grows along with the several other trees and it's in a flat land and the soil type is some sort of a, the loamy soil and this one, this plant occurs in a built up area it's not a natural area here, built up area so all of the features like uh, what proportion of the, the plants are in flower are there any fruits and uh, then the natural sort of uh, the bark thickness, the bark color and uh, any other features you find in this particular plant. So because some of the features they will dry out and or else they don't come with your sample. So your sample doesn't give any information about the bark, doesn't give any information about the fruits. If you come across a fruit somewhere on top, at least you just take a note and write down all the details. And then when you go back, each piece of information will be extremely useful in identifying this specimen. So having done that, the next thing is you press the sample between the sheets. So this is your field notebook. You've already come prepared with this and uh, just place this one in between the two sheets. And when you place it, 
make sure that the sample is not too large it is it fits in within a3 size it doesn't really uh, it's not too small it is not too large and it fits very well within the a3 size paper so when you press it make sure that the leaves are in their natural position all of them and also make sure that some leaves are turned upside down and whereas the others are placed in their, in their natural natural form so hold it, put your hand like this and then fold this sheet over and then while holding this take this hand away and then place it and then put the sheet back and then tie it up with the velcro tape so now your plant has been collected it's been labeled and you collected the details of the plant now we can go back start curating this and before you identify the specimen